Well, you're listening to V101.9, and when you talk about grown folks' music, when you talk about sexy, <laughs> oh my goodness, ladies, y'all already know, uh, this brother has an amazing voice and uh, just an amazing manness about him that not only do we see when we look at him, but we hear it with every note that you sing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Eric Benet to the Queen City. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. We got a nice little run going on, me, Fantasia, and Candy. And, uh, you know, we had a couple days off. I was mm -hmm. laying by the pool in Miami uh, yesterday. Say that slow. You're painting a nice picture for us. You were laying by the pool. What did you have on? Uh, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. That's what I do. I flirt. That's what I do. <laughs> uh, but it was cool. That's cool. That's cool. We, we get, um, you know, we really get the crowd, you know, into it. And uh, it's, it's a really strong tour. Well, now we're we're playing both of your brand new singles. Sometimes I cry in the new one. I never want to live my life without you. Please mm -hmm. tell us about the brand new CD. Now, what day does it drop? Uh, the CD is going to drop November thirtieth. November thirtieth. Okay. Yeah. And um, you know, first I want to say thank you and thanks to everybody out there for making Sometimes I Cry number one song. For we the, love it for the third week in a row. Cool. God is good. Yes, He is. And um, so yeah, the whole CD is. Uh, all about that, what I consider to be the, the best decade for R&B, you know, it was, it was the mid to late 70s for mm -hmm. me. I mean, that's when, that's when you couldn't get on the radio if you couldn't sing, you know, and if the instrumentation wasn't on point, you know, nowadays, you know. Auto-tune. Auto-tune, <laughs> you know, maybe you, if, if there is music, you can just play a couple chords and then loop it in the sequencer, you know, or the, or the, or the program that you're using. So, I mean... There was a, a very uh, influential and prolific time for making great R&B music, and mm -hmm. the whole album is all about you know it's almost like an homage to that to that decade. So I, you know, it, it, it was a fairly expensive record to make considering there's live strings and live horns on almost every song. And so this is real music. Oh, it's the real thing. It's and the real it's, thing. tell me the name of it again. It's Lost. Lost in Time is the name of the CD. Wow. I think that's how people feel when they hear your music. Um, I think a lot of people get an extremely emotional response to, mm -hmm. to your songs. I mean, mm -hmm. you've had so many hit songs that, it, you know, that just mean so much to people. And where, where does that come from? I mean, I just, uh, first, I just got to give it up to God. I mean, you know, and then it comes down to just, uh, uh, you know, I could be laying in bed and just like right about to fall asleep and the melody will hit me. Mm -hmm. And I just got to make sure I either get to a guitar or a keyboard and just get a little skeleton structure of it down. And, and then when it comes to the lyrics, I mean, it's just, I, it's all about my life, you know, like what uh, uh, some of my experiences and some of my perspectives on things. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's all, it's all very personal. Well, since you brought it up, uh, you know, when we hear the songs, we always paint our own picture. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we're pretty familiar with you, Eric. You know, we think we know you. Mm -hmm. We see your Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff, and all your videos. So when I hear the song, I'm just keep it real. You know, I always think you're singing about Halle Berry. Are you? Or are you singing about me? Which one? I'm singing. <laughs> I'm, I'm singing about you. I you know. see. That's what I thought. I thought <laughs> that. <laughs> no, it just kind of goes along with it. I mean, people kind of know me when they think about me and my relationship. They pretty much only know about one. Right. But you know, I've had a, a few major relationships in my life so yes yeah, sometimes I cry it's, it's not about you know, my ex-wife but you know for me it was it was uh, almost like a mosaic mm -hmm. of going back and remembering what different uh, different nuances of life after the breakup felt like you know in it's a great areas. video too oh thank you great thank you video much. and I tell you first of all I love the music I love your voice I love the fact that you got a real sister up in there yeah, you know, cause yeah. so many videos. Everybody looks exactly alike. You got a real sister in there, and you know, you show us some real emotion. You got tears and everything. Where do you know? Are you looking to do more acting? Um, I, I've, I've never been bitten, you know, per se by the acting bug. But I'm not going to. Um, if the right thing comes along, I will definitely do it. Like I'm, I'm not one of these. Um, singers that will just act in a movie just because mm -hmm. I was asked to or it was a payday you know I I think I would do something like that if it 
you know, if it resonated with, if the part resonated with me and it was a challenge for me. Um, but I've yet to be extremely, um, like I said, like. So your first it, love is music? Always. Is it music or is it ladies? <laughs> Tell the truth. My first love is my, my first love is my daughter. <laughs> now that's the truth. Now what's her name and how old is she now? India. And how India, old is she now? India is 18. <gasps> she said, I know. Really? Tell me about it, yeah. Oh my gosh, first, so is she in college now? Or? First year at USC. Wow. Yeah, man. How does that feel? You got a grown up daughter now. It, do, it, it don't even make no sense because I still feel like I'm 25, 24. <laughs> you are, aren't you? You know, I, I think I am, you know. <laughs> I mean, physically, I feel like I'm about 24, 25, and then, I, you know, India will come home for the weekend. She's like, Daddy, I bought some friends from school. Uh -huh. And then it's like these grown-ass ladies walking in the house. And I'm like, hey, wow. you look like somebody I would date. Wow. But, um... You know, it's uh, it's a trip. It's really a trip. So on your new CD, Lost in Time, India actually does a song with you. Tell me about that. Yeah, I mean, India is a very talented singer songwriter mm -hmm. herself, and I asked her to do some vocals on uh, this song called Summer Love. It's a very, um, it's another one of those just feel good uh, songs, and it just feels. I mean, all the songs on the record, it just brings you back to that time where music. People weren't afraid to to use certain uh, chord voicings in songs. Mm -hmm. Where it nowadays it's a whole lot more just repetitious and simplified. With and the beat is a lot more complex under the music today. But I mean back then it was like the music was more. But you had to really but, sing. Yeah, and you had to really come with it. And, so um, on the new CD you have real musicians. Now absolutely. where'd you where'd you do it? I did the whole CD back home in Milwaukee. And yeah, I mean, every song is tracked live. Mm -hmm. uh, wow! And you know, um, you know, it was. I was really trying to authentically um, capture um, almost like the magic of, of of what recording was like back then. So I had all the musicians face each other, and the drummer would count it off, and they would like vibe off of each mm -hmm. other as they played the track, and that's the track that went down. On, on every song. Wow. So now tonight when you and Fantasia hit the stage at Ovens Auditorium, are we going to get that same vibe? I mean, what's going to happen tonight? We're excited oh, Fantasia, about it. you know, I managed to, um, you know, sneak backstage and, and, and catch a couple of her shows and she is two things, incredible and consistent. Really? So, I mean, uh, yeah, she is an That's on stage. What about off stage? Off stage, I haven't really spent that much time with her other than just like, uh, you know, like after the show, get a hug and a kiss and go knock them dead, girl. And, and that's it? I mean, that's... Because, <laughs> you know, we want to know here in Charlotte because, you know, as a home girl, what's really going on with y'all? No? <laughs> well, um, I hate to disappoint, but oh. I mean, it's just like mutual, you know, professional camaraderie, really. Okay. I mean, um, uh, there's really not a lot of time, you know, between mm -hmm. everything that she has to do preparing for and then right after her performance and then I'm doing interviews and this that and the other and so it's it's really just that like I'm leaving stage and she's like you, you tie up baby and I'm like oh <laughs> thanks you gonna knock them dead and then that's about, it's that's time about to get back it. on the bus yeah, do something else go to the next city